Hey everyone, and welcome to one more video on the channel. Uh, today we're here at the University of Bocconi, and for those of you that don't know, I'm actually here on a four month exchange from the University of Toronto. And today we're going to be doing a walk around of the university. You'll see some of the main buildings, get some quick tips, and it will help you navigate the University of Bocconi. Here we are in the new uh, SDA Bocconi building. Now we're walking through the SDA campus, which was actually just built in 2019. And this campus is mainly geared towards master students at Bocconi. And you can find different offices if you have office hours. You can find different guest lectures and rooms where there's a lot of event spaces. In addition, you can also come here for the sports center, which is actually in that building right over there, that we'll look at in just a second. As you can see in the sports center, there's a swimming pool right behind me that can be used and is accessible for Bocconi students. And above us, there's a nice gym that Bocconi students can use as well. And finally, if you feel like just getting a drink or getting some studying done, you can come to this cafe right here and grab yourself a spot. Inside the sports center, we can also find a model for the campus and have a better idea of where we are and to navigate ourselves around the county. So if we come closer, we can actually see where the different buildings are situated and where we'll go next on this quick tour. Um, so we'll find right now we're in the main SDA campus and we're actually in that building right there, which is where the sports facilities are situated. Once we exit this area, we go further north, we'll find Safadi 25, which is a lion building. That's where we have a lot of classes, which you'll see in just a few minutes. And then the library, it's right over there in this building, which is um, where many students go to study. And then a bit further north, we have the Velodroma, which is the circular building that's iconic here at Bacconi. Um, and then just west of it, we find the principal building, which is mainly tailored for uh, undergrad Bacconi students that will also pass by in a few minutes. Now this is the area where I spend most of my time. It's actually midpoint to one of the Bacconi buildings. Um, over there, to my right, is the main SD Bacconi building, which looked at. Here we have the library. Up north we have the Velodromo, building. And here we have the Sarfati 25, which is the library. We're now at Sarfati 25 building, which is the Lion building. As you can probably tell, I'm doing a voiceover because it was super crowded when we were there. The entrance has a main door between these two columns that is rarely crossed by students because it's believed that if you pass by there before graduating, you will actually not end up graduating. And so students are only allowed to actually pass by that main entrance if they finish their undergraduate studies or graduate studies at Bocconi. In this building, we're gonna look at two different things. To my left, we have lecture rooms and study spots. And over here, to my right, we're going to find the cafeteria that we're going to right after. As we're approaching the lecture rooms, just something quick to point out, which I think is pretty funny too. If you look here at the water fountains, you'll see that they have two options. You can choose either cold water or sparkling, which is a pretty unique feature here at Bocconi. This is a typical lecture room in Sarfati 25, and it has around 10 rows of seating for students. So this is the Bocconi cafeteria that's located in the Lion building. As you can see, it's quite long and you can see a lot of students um, in the lower level of the building. Uh, you'll find that it's one of the two cafeterias that Bocconi has. This is the older one. A new one just opened actually on the other side of the street. Uh, if you come closer to these different areas, we'll find that it starts with the cafeteria. That's where you can get pistachio, brioche, um, your typical Italian espresso. Um, further here, dedicated pizzeria area, which is very conducive for where we are right now, as well as um, first and second plate. So if you look at the menu, which you can find over here, we can see what they have available for first course, main dish, and pizza. We're now at the Bocconi Library, and you use your student card to get into it, and we'll look at it for just a second. The very cool feature about the Bocconi Library is that each row is dedicated to a different UN SDG. For example, here we have single cities and communities. Further down we have gender equality. And over here we have peace, justice, and strong institutions. And it continues all the way down to the very end of the library. Once you turn left, you this big hallway where you can find different study areas that you can go to. One of my favorite features of the library is the Daily New York Times that we can have access to as students and we can get our quick read of the news for the day. We're now standing in front of the Velodromo of Bocconi, which is this big circular building that you saw earlier from the model. And essentially a lot of undergrad students, both full-time as well as exchange students, have classrooms in this building. Next to Velodromo, we have one of the most popular cafes on campus, which is Good Milano. As you can see here, they have weekly activities, such as karaoke nights, ping pong tournaments, as well as trivia games. And they also have their own in-house baristas for activities and other fun activities on campus. 
Initially, on the outside, you can find ping pong tables and nice areas to meet with friends and work on the project. In front of it, we have the main building of Bakoni, which is right here ahead. And then, if you look to the right, there's Season's Greeting, which is holiday themed. Behind me is the front view of the main building of the Bakoni campus. The students can come here for office hours. As an exchange student, I also had to come here to pick up my student's card, as well as the welcome package. It's a popular place for big events on campus. Our last stop for today's video is Aparto, which is the building over there. It's one of the main residences for Bakoni students, as well as for exchange students, and it will be the last building that we'll explore as part of this video. Joining me in today's video to talk about Aparto is actually Simona, and I'll let Simona do her introduction. Thanks, Rob. So yes, I'm Simona. I also go to U of T in Toronto, and I'm here on exchange at Bocconi for two semesters, so one academic year. And I'm very fortunate to live in Aparto, which is the main uh, residence at Bocconi, and so I'll take over the tour and show you guys around. Now we're in the Aparto lobby. Um, as you can see, they decorated for the whole And to the left and right, have the dorm uh, pods. So they're separated into three different sections where people live in clusters. And so downstairs we also have a lot of facilities, including study areas, a game room, and even a gym. And welcome to the games room. So here we have ping pong tables, a foosball table, and even a pool table, where we like to go in between and after classes when we're not studying. Um, it's really great to have these facilities. We also have a gym, which I'll show you in a second, um, and we also have an outdoor courtyard area. Now we're entering the gym. So the gym is actually free to use and once you book a time slot on the apartment website. And it has a lot of uh, equipment that you can use. There's a yoga room, yoga mats, and as you can see, it's a great place to get a workout. Now finally, I'm going to show you the lounge. Uh, so this is a place that has a lot of spots where you can study, do group work, uh, or just come and chill out. And the great thing about living in the dorm is that you get to meet other exchange students uh, from all around the world, which is awesome. And then down here, we also have a cinema room with a piano in front, which is an amazing facility. There's also the laundry room over there. So I live on the 10th floor of Aparto, which is the highest floor, and you can have either a single room or a double room. So I'm in the single room. And then what happens is you share a kitchen with between five to 10 people. So here we share a kitchen with five other people living in the same cluster. And we also have an amazing balcony and an amazing view. Of Milan. It's a little bit foggy today, but if you look down there, you'll see the Duomo. Right over there. So that concludes today's walk around video. I hope this gave you a better idea of the different buildings on campus, how to navigate yourself here at Bocconi. And if you guys are coming on exchange to Bocconi or have more questions about Aparto or Milan, uh, always feel free to reach out to either myself or as well. Yeah, we'll link our contact info down below if you want to reach out. Um, until next time, have a good one. Bye everyone.